The Ultra Wars are coming. The spirits are forever with you. So, keeping it simple, starting it off, our first challenger in the Ultra Wars, of course, is Tamashi Nations. And they have their Ultra Instinct Goku being re released, or rather re released, in what, September of this year? And I'll have like the screen recording of what it says on Big Bad Toy Store, because Big Bad Toy Store tends to go by the US release. So, if it's not September on Big Bad, that just means that September is the Japanese release. Regardless, though, this figure, will it be able to hold up against the competition? Chances are, QC-wise, I think it will be, for sure. Um, but everything else, I think it will end up getting beaten, whether it's sculpt or just straight up the volume of accessories that it comes with. Now, this comes with a pretty standard set of accessories. You know, you got your interchangeable hands, interchangeable faceplates, and of course, a charging up. Kamehameha, you know, fairly standard. But I don't think this one is quite out of the way just yet. And you'll see what I mean. Money, credit cards, wallets, it all gets sucked in. So up next we have Black Hole Toys and yo, as you can see with this particular Black Hole Toys release, which is not the most current version, but you got a lot of bang for your buck and this is why I said the competition would be stiff for Tamashi in terms of the Ultra Wars because if it's not being beat in terms of the sculpt it's getting beat in terms of the sheer volume of accessories and to be fair I don't think anything else on this list will beat this in terms of accessories and that's sort of because of the nature of some of the other releases and like two two of the things are only but renders but I'm including them because they could potentially change the tides of the Ultra Wars because of them just being new sculpts in general. But either way, right? I have a review for this up on the channel and here's the packaging for this particular Black Holes Ultra Instinct release. And it's a great figure. QC is on point, a ton of accessories. The only thing that sucked here is that um, they gave you the hair, right? But they didn't give you face plates for the hair. They gave you blank face plates, but who wants to put decals on these face plates? That's a very tedious and difficult process. Well, if you're not used to doing it. I guess you could say that about pretty much anything you're not used to doing, to a certain extent. But either way, I digress, right? All of this, immaculate. Now, here's the most, and by the way, if you want to get this, it is available, but nowadays it's, it went for $50. So that's, that's another thing. The price point was on point, QC was on point and everything. But it went for $50 when it first came out. Nowadays, it's going to be a bit more expensive since, as some people would put it, you know, some salespeople, it's like, hey, this is not really available anymore like that. So, you know, they're going to upcharge it a bit. Now, I don't think I've seen it really over, go over $100. I've seen it go up to like $80, $70, things of that nature, but not $100 yet. But if you're interested, go cop it. You got to go to eBay or AliExpress or one of those type of sites. Um, now here's the most current version. Now this one is a bit more lackluster in terms of, you know, one could look at the color and be like, eh, I'm not feeling the color, but also just in terms of accessories, it doesn't come with nearly as many as accessories as its previous counterpart, right? Um, you know, it comes with the Super Saiyan head sculpts, of course, so it's, all, it's automatically coming with a little bit more, but not as much, like, not as, the gap is not as wide as it, as the other Black Hole Toys Ultra Instinct Goku release was in comparison to Tamashi. This is a bit more comparable, even though you're still missing, you know, you still have a little bit more, but it's still a bit more comparable. That being said, if you want this, this is available right now as we speak. Like it came out, what, two weeks ago? And it'll run you about, what, 40 something dollars, 50 something dollars? Like when you go on AliExpress, you could definitely get this at a reasonable price. I think. A AliExpress shop I would recommend just based off of what my homies told me because I haven't ordered from AliExpress just yet um, you could try figure model store or you could try hobby model store too because um, I know people have a hesitancy with ordering from AliExpress because it's like uh, I don't know it's weird and I don't trust I, I, you know you want to you want to buy from a trusted place but with that, I would just say read reviews. 
If you see a whole bunch of reviews where things is looking shady, then don't buy. Because you know people are going to leave honest reviews because they want, they spent their hard earned money. So <laughs> they're going to leave an honest review. That being said, let's move forward. TK Star Star! Next up, we have the TK DIY Ultra Instinct Torso. And yeah, I say torso because this is what this product is. When it came out on 5K Toys, which when it came out, it was up there very, very briefly and then like it was gone. Not because they took it down, but because it sold out so fast. And this is a this is a piece that's gonna be first of all it's scheduled to release in September. That's we'll see. And that's interesting. And this is why I said don't count to my shit out just yet, because as you can see, it's just gonna be a torso. And also they scheduled it to release around the same time as Ultra Instinct, you know, Tamashi. So people may have to buy, is gonna have to buy that <laughs> Tamashi figure and they're gonna put this torso on. And they'll probably get TK's head sculpt as well. But, um, yeah, this is looking really good. I'll just take you through. And, you know, this, I guess this was the inspiration for TK to even do this. And you see TK definitely for this mold borrowed from Revel Tech in terms of the joint style and, and he might have just straight up borrowed that whole mold <laughs> copied that whole mold to be honest but this is to give it more of that aesthetic from the Toyotaro edition Ultra Instinct Goku and here you see the articulation demonstration and here you can even see it fits onto the 3.0 body now this body looks particularly or these set of legs look uh, like the demoniacal fit Goku leg. So if you want it on a 3.0 mold, there you have it. Right there. Yeah, this is looking, like I said, this is looking really good. And <laughs> no, it's gonna the posing is gonna be next level on this. And the only thing is how much would a torso I forgot how much the torso was. But this is gonna be like I said, something to remember. And it's gonna make this competition for Tamashi very steep, but at the same time, you know, some people are gonna have to use the Tamashi legs anyway, so in a way it's feeding into Tamashi, but at the same time, you don't necessarily have to use the Tamashi legs because as we can see, it goes on the 3.0 legs too. Particularly, that was a demoniacal fit 3.0 legs. So, I don't know, if it fits onto every 3.0, that's gonna be a damn that's that's gonna suck for that particular ultra instinct release but at the same time it's never really gonna suck too much because not everybody knows about third party it's new people discovering third party all the time and not everybody collects third party because they just rather stick to the official stuff right so um that being said let's move forward so this is the next of <laughs> the Ultra Wars and this challenger in particular, Demoniacal Fit. What can I say about them? Yeah, so you, if they drop it, if they actually drop this, it'll be great. And to be honest, I think they should tweak some things in terms of the musculature, but I don't. Will they? Time will tell the tale. Will they even drop it? Time will tell the tale. Um, if this is just magically ready for any of the variety of other ultra instinct stuff that's coming out that wouldn't surprise me either but also who knows demoniacal fit moves very funny sometimes but like i said this sculpt could be tweaked a little bit to be a bit more lean but you know also there's some people that like the large amount of musculature so what can i say about that but here we are Ultra Instinct head sculpts, and I think these are probably the best head sculpts that we've seen thus far. Well, actually, no, I can't say that because TK is technically featured, but I was more focused on the torso with that. Um, but this, I can't lie, this is my favorite <laughs> Ultra Instinct head sculpt that I've seen thus far. You know, this is my, even though he never, his hair never looked like this in the anime, I don't think it was ever seen his hair with blown in the wind like this in Ultra Instinct form, but it's a damn good head sculpt. This is all dependent upon if it actually comes out. And I can't even say that, well, while it's a new sculpt, I can't even say that it'll be 
the best because, like I said, the figure has to come out. We gotta see what accessories it comes with, all things of that nature. We gotta see the QC, but if it does, QC is up, the accessories at least decent, and we see that it's a brand new sculpt. Uh, yeah, this will definitely be better than the either the black hole toys or the Tamashi one. But you know. Black Hole Toys will have the edge and accessories. Tamashi will have the edge and, well, it's Tamashi. But next. So, once again, just like the DF, our final challenger right here is Eken Toys now, or Eken Toys, however you want to pronounce it. This is incredible. This is my personal favorite out of everything. Now the on only thing is, at this point in time, it's just renders. Um, Egan claims that this will be out next year at some point, which is fair enough, because it's still being fairly vague about it. So it was not like we have a hard date or anything of that nature, but we so we had to still see the price and the accessories that it comes with, and of course, QC, QC, QC. This QC could completely ruin a figure. Let's just, you know, let's keep it a bean and you could just see it from future trunks and looks like it'll be two versions one with the loose undershirt which this will probably be uh ultra instinct omen nine times out of ten and here we have you know the comparison to dragon ball fighters you have to broaden that back just a bit and bring the shoulders up just a bit but yeah it's looking really good now I put this in DF at the end because it just renders, you know, it's just hype at this point in time. But provided that those, these all come out, it's gonna be who y'all got to win. Assuming that everything comes out and let's just assume that all the QC is at least decent. Who y'all got winning the Ultra War? I got my money on Eakin Toys, but I could also see a lot of people going with TK, you know? Now DF, DF2 though because it'll be a new sculpt and DF prices the figures at amazing prices and the QC be on point. So that would just leave Black Hole Toys and Tamashi Nations kind of in the dust. But like I said, people will probably end up getting the Tamashi Nations release, taking the torso off and putting that TK body mold on there. But at the same time, like I was saying earlier, they could just eliminate that by just getting uh, for example, if it if that torso fits onto other molds, other 3.0 molds, it, it pretty much you could eliminate that option with Tamashi. <laughs> but if it only fits on the DF, it, it'll work out better for Tamashi, right? Um, but I don't know, man. I don't know. If, if, assuming everything comes out, I'm rooting for Eakin, but we'll see. Like I said, QC things of that nature is going to play a pivotal role if the QC is on point with everything then it's really going to come down to of course sculpt and accessories so then Tamashi loses out and sculpt and accessories well it'll be touching we'll, we would have to see it when it comes to Tamashi I mean not Tamashi DF and Eakin and then on top of that we'll have to see the price point now I know DF like I said price point will always be amazing with DF so that's not a big deal. Eakin, we'll see. But with all that being said, right? This has been Bombastic Plastic. Thank you for viewing the videos. I love the likes, I love the comments, I love the support. Even if we disagree in the comments section, hey, you know I'm gonna respond and, you know, I always try my best to keep it respectful. But until next time, this is, I already said that, peace. <laughs> One more thing. So for those wondering, I did not forget about the Toyotaro edition um, SH figure arts Goku, right? It's just a matter of the availability of it and the price point. And both of them, you know, go hand in hand because it was a premium Bandai exclusive. It's going to be more expensive, but also it comes with this fancy uh, book or not so fancy, but, you know, it's a book talking about all the SH figure arts release up until a certain point. And this is you not know, like a specific artwork. So compared to the rest, all of, this is probably going to be the most expensive by far. And it's only going to get more expensive. So 
you could technically include them in Ultra Wars, but eh. But with that being said, it's been Bombastic Plastic. Stay fantastic for real this time.